Hey guys, Michael Fools Loving here, and today is another episode of the Big Dig Let's Play, and this is episode 33, and today we are going to move on to a different project. Um, you know, I'm not too sure what it's going to be next, but um, before we actually do that, there was the fruit picker that I actually created not too long ago, um, and I just recently looked up how to actually work it, and it does not work with these berries here so um the only thing it really works with is i guess the cocoa beans out in the jungle so you know that essentially makes the um the fruit picker pointless at the moment so there's really no use to it right now so we're going to have to figure out uh or well, i mean we might not be able to figure out if we can actually harvest these berries automatically now if we could then that would be good but um, obviously right now we cannot do that because, well, it does not, it, well, it's not really compatible, uh, with the, um, whole setup. Um, so, yeah, that sucks. And it is pretty hard to actually, um, make the, like, the power source. You can't really, I think, I don't know, I don't remember what he really did, but I think we need, like, a lava generator, I think. If that's possible, I'm not too sure. I may be wrong. Yep, I'm probably wrong. Okay, but anyways, it's a different way in how to actually uh, power the um, the fruit picker. So I have to figure something out on how to work that as well. Um, I need to turn down my audio right now. There we go. It should be good. But other than that, guys, you may hear some, um, like, a fan in the background. Yes, there is a fan in the background. Um, and that is because it is hot as poop in my room. Um, so don't worry about that, although it may be annoying, so I apologize for that. Um, hopefully it's not, it's not too bad, but, um, I kind of have to do, have to, uh, have it going at the moment because of how hot it is. And if I don't have it going, it's gonna get super hot. It's gonna get even worse with my computer recording at the moment. But yeah, so other than that, um, so for the cacti farm, we are going to be, uh, creating a hopper system, um, you know, to essentially make it so that we can harvest, or get the full harvest amount. Um, okay, yeah, I don't have my skin at the moment for some reason, I don't know why. But, yeah, we're going to make it so that we can get the full harvest amount, um, you know, from the whole cacti farm and that they don't despawn. So, I basically have to put a, uh, hopper right here, and then beneath it, I have to place a chest, so... I guess we're just gonna place it right there for now. Uh, well, immediately. I think we're going to get rid of this dirt here. Um, make some little bit of cobblestone pathway. So let's see here. I mean, it is it is really humid out right now. Um, I really shouldn't have my windows open, I would say. But oh crap! Did I? Okay, I thought I screwed that up. Okay. <laughs> um. But I kind of have to have them open just in case if I get some wind going. Um, okay, there we go. So we're going to keep it like that. And we could probably just have it so that it's like this. Um, I think that works. Okay, so we have to make a hopper. So this is what... This is going to be, you know, a very simple project. It's not going to be too crazy. But we're just going to get it out of the way. And then we're going to move on to a different project. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so, there we go. We need iron ingots. I totally forgot about that. Uh, I think about five. I think it was five ingots. I'm pretty positive. Well, anyways, guys. Um, so, yeah, this pickaxe. Um, I may have explained in the last episode. I don't recall. Um, but this pickaxe, I don't really know if it... Uh, it works right now. Well, no, it does, obviously, but... Um, let's see here. Will that go through? I don't know how it actually works out. Like, do I need to power... Yeah, I don't know how this works. Um... Okay, so there's one in there. I don't... I don't recall how hoppers actually work. Holy crap. That's kind of bad, but... That's me. Uh, let's see here... Don't recall vanilla Minecraft. Woo! That's good. Well, anyways, it'll... I guess I get to just, uh, store up in there. 
I mean, it's not going to be like there's going to be tons and tons of falling. I mean, if I get a full, like this whole thing is filled up with 64 cacti, then that would be pretty insane. So, you know, it's it's not too bad, so we can just have it like how it is. But if we could get into the chest, then that would be better, obviously. Okay, so, yes, let's continue on. So, a new project, guys, a new project. Um, I don't really have many, too many ideas, so I may look at some of these things, and if they look good, then I'll probably make it. <laughs> uh, kind of a bad um, idea, but let's see here. Oh, I could possibly uh, begin the space project. Oh, this is what I was talking that, about, the redstone energy cell. That's what I saw in that video that the guy was showing about the fruit picker. And I don't, re I don't know how to, I forgot how to, like, do that. Okay, so, um, let's see here. So, we could do the farm harvester and then, like, the planter. We could potentially do that as well. I don't know the whole size of it, like, how big the dimensions would be for, far uh, for harvesting the, um, like, all the trees. I guess we'd have to figure that out. But what, what was I thinking? Oh, well, here it is. A heat generator, that's what it was. And then you need the energy cubes. Pretty positive about that. Uh, let's see here. Um, I, I forgot what I was actually talking about. Alright, uh, let's see here. Okay, annoying kids outside. <laughs> oh man, okay. So, if you guys have any ideas, you know, what I should make, then feel free to say that. I mean, it seems better that I don't have any ideas, right? But, I don't know if you guys have a preference of what I should be making right now, because somebody, I was making a quarry, somebody got pissed off. Um, you know. <laughs> So yeah, I could begin the space project, which is definitely a problem of rift blade. Okay, I don't need the rift blade. I think I will be making the space project uh, probably soon, or probably maybe like right now. But see, the thing about space is that it's not really, it's really, um, it's not like the best thing, you know? Like, cause I remember I went out there and it was like, crap. I couldn't really do anything up there, so I have to figure something out on how to see if it'll actually work. See, that's a real thing, if it'll actually work. Wait, there are grenades and stuff? Bullets? Well, maybe... God, guys, I don't know what... There are some weird things. Ender seeds? Well, first off, let's actually try going to the nether. Yeah, let's do that. I want to check out the nether. I've never done that. Um, and I think it would be a pretty cool experience. There are copper pickaxes. I don't know how to make this stuff. Okay. Oh, there's lapis lazuli tools and stuff. Osmium. Steel? Oh, crap. Steel is actually pretty good. Um, okay. I think, yeah, let's go to the nether. We're going to, well, we could make a room for this. I would kind of like a room for it. Yeah, this is going to be my first time going to the nether on the Big Dig mod pack. Now, there are some different things in there, I believe. So, let's uh, definitely check that out. And then then we could possibly begin the, uh, the space project. I'm not too sure. Or maybe we figure out another project that I could do. Because uh, a quarry right now, that's, you know, that's fine. My chest, obviously, is also full. I do need to exchange all those items into the other one. Which will take a long time. And plus, I want to figure out something, like, if I could smelt something and then, like, gain XP off of it. If I could do that, then that would be awesome as well. Gosh, I don't even remember where to go for the, for the obsidian. Come on! Um, I don't know how much obsidian I'll be needing for the actual portal. I always forget, and great, it's raining outside. Holy crap, I do not know where I have to go. Oh, hello. 
Oh man, it's pouring outside. Well, it's not really pouring outside. It's not too bad. Why do I have a bow and arrow? That would be good to enchant. Guys, I have no clue where to go for this obsidian. I always... I don't need... Okay, I'll be back once I find the obsidian. Okay, guys, I got to the lava pool. There's a big slime thing coming after me. I don't even know what these are called, but we'll just call them blue slimes. Um, there's some more uraninite there. Let's see, zombie. I uh, just want to get these guys out of the way before I start mining, um, as I do not want to get hit into the lava pool. Um, okay, so... I don't know exactly how much I need. I haven't built a nether portal in a very, very long time. So, um, hopefully, I, I know how to make it. I just want to make sure that I have uh, the correct amount. I'll have to grab probably like a 16 or so. Um, crap off, crap off. Oh, crap, we got the zombie horde coming. Okay, get the heck out of here. There we go. Oh, great, another one. And another one, holy crap. Well, either way, it's just getting me XP, and I need I need XP to try the re-enchantment. But yeah, we're going to use this diamond pickaxe to get all this obsidian here. Now, okay, yeah, I do remember how to... Well, no, actually, I don't remember how to. I found the note, um, or the, uh, like, little post-it note on how to, um, do the enchantment. Yes, I did that. Um, I found it, and it tells me exactly what I need to get for it. Okay, so it's going to be pretty simple I'm going to get the note very soon um, and it does work it does work I can definitely enchant it how I want it to be so it's going to be very good very good for me <laughs> um, it's gonna be you know what all what I want um, it's gonna have all the fortune the efficiency and the uh, unbreaking so, uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh, that does not reach it. There we go, let's take that. And let's head up. Because I can, I can definitely go on a little mining trip. Uh, probably like fairly soon, if I desire. But, that will allow me to get some more XP uh, in order to get the enchantment level going up again. So, I'm definitely considering doing that. Because, well, I want to get the enchantment soon, and I want to show you guys that it does work. But, like, I just, um, I just have tons of ores as well. Oh, like, lapis is good. Coal's definitely good. But redstone, diamond, emeralds, those are all good uh, for me to get an XP. And then also I can fight zombies down here. Or, well, edit whatever monster monsters are down here. That will allow me to get some more XP. So, basically, it's a whole benefit, you know, instead of having the uh, smelter going all at once at the moment. Because I definitely do not mine um, at all in this anymore. It's just mainly the quarry that's doing all the work. So, I should definitely try getting back into that. And then also, with these, these things right here, those ender dust things, those can get me... I think they drop dust. Yeah, they do drop dust. Um... And that would that could actually lead me to the end portal, um, which I could fight the Ender Dragon in this, but I would like to have some more, um, you know, stronger armor and whatnot. But I could get tons of XP from that. Well, I would actually get tons of XP from it from killing the dragon, which is awesome. I would definitely like that. I can make tons of golden apples as well because I have tons of gold. Um, so I definitely could do that probably probably fairly soon. So I think I'm going to do that, guys. Probably, I don't know when, but I want to be able to enchant tons of stuff. Maybe like full set of diamond armor, tools, basically everything that could make me stronger, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I kind of plan on doing, guys. But yeah, other than that, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like, and I will see you guys all in the next one. So, yes, goodbye. Mm -hmm.